Hello tarot friends and welcome back to the next installment in my walking through the tarot series. Um, in this series I am uh, going through each card. Um, I'm starting with the uh, Rider Waite Smith deck and meanings and then sort of comparing and contrasting to the other decks in my collection. Let's see if I could just adjust this actually, sorry. There we go. So we're more centered. Um, so I'm going to go through that. I'm going to show that this is really more for myself so that I help myself to uh, cement the meanings in my um, in my brain so that, you know, I can sort of, my, my intuition has a launch point, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. If it helps someone else, then that's, that's awesome too. Um, thank you so much for watching and for spending, choosing to spend time with me. And if uh, there's any questions or anything, please feel free to leave me a comment down below or um, see me, uh, send me a message on Facebook or Instagram. And I am Jade Indigo 19 on both of those platforms. Uh, before we continue, please do hit that like and subscribe button down below. It really helps, um, helps me a lot. Um, and if there's any other content or any changes that you think that I should make to this series, I'm, I'm happy to hear. I do plan on going through all 78 cards, so um, still plenty of time to make changes. So today we're talking about the Hermit. The Hermit is number nine or the 10th card in the Major Arcana if you count the Fool as the first card. So I'm gonna go through. Uh, I have a bunch of resources. Uh, the first one, I'm going to read from is the Kitchen Table uh, Tarot by Melissa Sonova and the uh, RWS, another R a couple of other RWS books. And then I'll um, read some of the meanings. As I show you the other cards, I'll read some of the other meanings from the guidebooks just so that we can kind of see um, you know, how, how things sort of compare. There are definitely nuances and as um, I have mentioned before, uh, and Dusty Weight uh, posits that the art does change the meaning, so it is it is quite interesting to see um, to to compare the different decks and see how how those things might change in a reading for you. Okay, so the first one says um, prudence and also and especially treason, dissimulation, corruption, roguery. Didn't even know that was a word. Um, on the negative side, concealment, disguise, policy, fear, unreasoned caution. From Kitchen Table Tarot, I am thinking, in quotes, this card is about being alone, not lonely. You feel the need to go off and sit and be still um, so you can get your own thoughts in order. The light of the star is just for him. Solitude is sought for answers. We know what the an uh, we know what the answer is. We just have to be still and receive it. On the negative side, the card is about being lonely. No support, no help. The lantern has gone out, or he's just a cranky pants. <laughs> um, another meaning might be great wisdom, vision, and counsel, selflessly given to all who seek the light of his experience. On the negative side, withdrawal from responsibility to others. So again, we do we do have a bit of a, a bit of a nuanced change there. Here's the Game of Thrones tarot. Let's see what that one says: solitude, spirituality, truth, reflection, wisdom, self-healing journeys. Bran Stark was the character. Um, the Hermit follows his calling to truth. Uh, the number nine stands for oneness, intensity, and realization. The hermit signifies contemplation and learning. You may um, incubate new ideas and approaches or spend time uh, reading, researching, journaling, or simply contemplating where you, have where you are in life. This card invites you to take your time making decisions and generally go slow in relationship the hermit can show time apart or solitude after a breakup. Giving or receiving mentoring is another meaning. On the negative side, it reveals isolation, a time of solitude that is unwelcome or unexpected. 
support is still available to you. Welcome the opportunity to reflect, then approach the, those who can help you to move forward. <clears throat> this is the John Rackham Tarot. And I'm gonna apologize because I have a feeling that in a previous video, I called this a John Bauer Tarot. It is not, I do not own that deck. This is the Rackham Tarot. <clears throat> the Deviant Moon. Quite a different card there. <laughs> Just for fun. The Spirit of Halloween. <laughs> the Santa Muerte. That looks more like death, doesn't it? The Tarot de la Nuit. Let's see what this one says. Wisdom, solitude, inner guidance, introspection, seeking answers, lonely path. You will only find answers within yourself through solitude and introspection. Take a step back from your day-to-day -day life. Find shelter in loneliness. You'll meet others again soon, enlightened and renewed. For now, meditate within yourself. This is the art history for past lives. The Housewives Tarot. The Zombie Tarot. The Vice Versa Tarot, so this is the front. So very similar to that RWS. And then let's flip it around the back side. A couple of dogs, the moon. Uh, not sure what the not sure what the face um, is meant to indicate. Actually, let's see what the vice versa says. So the front seeking one's own inner light on a path of solitude and darkness, indifference towards impulses and desires. The secret. The secret, the art of the soul. Hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. The secret heart of the soul. I can't uh, read my writing. So the back. The first flashes of a new life cycle. Patience and waiting rewarded. Teachings are unveiled and protection arrives from above. Okay. The everyday witch. I love this card. Um, this one says, there is wisdom in listening to the silence. Sometimes the best way to heal or learn or grow is to do it by ourselves in silence. Hermit is a good indication that it is time for you to be alone for a while. This isn't necessarily a bad thing. If life is so hectic that you can't seem to hear your own thoughts, perhaps you need a little peace and quiet. Maybe just turn off the phone or computer for a bit. Just stop, be quiet, and listen to your own inner voice, which often gets lost in the noise of the rest of the world. If your question uh, involves romance, then the answer may be that now is not the right time for that. Sometimes we need solitude and time to be fully present with ourselves. Oh, that is not the hermit. <laughs> the Revelations Tarot and reversed. Give me those. The um, Aquarius or Aquarian, sorry. The Mermaid Tarot. There we go. The Dame Darcy very similar, except that he's not standing on a snow-covered mountain. And this one is interesting. This is the uh, Emerging Toronto Artist uh, deck, Hermit, and quite a different vibe from, from that one. Um, I don't actually have those. I, haven't, I, I never downloaded the, the meanings for those those cards. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. That is the Muse Tarot. The Mythic Tarot. The 
Crow Tarot. Taramuha. Let's see what that one says. Taramuha says. Universal wisdom, spiritual solitude, the illuminated soul, retreat into sanctuary. Hidden realms. Um, this one says, the hermit card shows up when it is time to withdraw from the world and do some soul searching. This can mean a time for recharging your batteries so you have the energy to jump back into your busy life refreshed. More often, it means going within and looking for your own truth, which isn't as easy as it sounds. You will face dragons, such as your own ego, the expectations of others, your most cherished desires, or your worst fears. You will gain a confidence born of certainty and wisdom earned in struggle. While the hermit isn't technically a teacher, as with the hierophant, others will learn from you as your life becomes a walking testament to the treasures you find in the dark. I find that a pretty powerful message. This is the, um, the fountain tarot. The wild unknown. Let's just take this away. I'm gonna need something, uh, a better system here. The joie de vivre. Spiral. Crystal visions. Shadowscapes. The deviant moon. Nicoletta Ciccoli. Mystic Mondays, Dark Mansion, he's just retreating to his library, I guess, Pagan Otherworlds, Santa Muerte, Mystic Man Mystical Manga, and the last RWS based one I have is the Next World Tarot. Love that. Again, it is a retreat. Retreat to your own room. All right, so let's move on to the Marseille decks and let's see how this differs. Let's, let's start with the uh, one JJ Swiss. All right, let's see what that one says. That one says prudence, withdrawal, circums circumspection, and caution. So interesting. Not so much about um, going and being off by you know going and um, being by yourself for a while, but definitely still. Um, that, that circumspection uh, piece is still there, but also something about being um, prudent, I guess. It's really thinking about your actions before you act. Okay. The um, Marshmallow Marseille. The Tarot Classic. Let's see what the Tarot Classic says. This is from the uh, Tarot Classic book from uh, Stuart Kaplan. Under circumstances, this card also represents recession, desertion, annulment, insincerity, expressionless, a loner or person incapable of participating with another person, misleading, misguided, tendency to withhold emotion, fearful of discovery, failure to face facts, possessor of secrets which may or may not be revealed, tendency to complacently dwell within this wealth of knowledge as something worthwhile without seeking to utilize the information towards some goal or application. Um, and so just before that, it was all the same 
things that I just read for the JJ Swiss in terms of counsel, knowledge, solitude, prudence, discretion, caution, vigilance, circumspe circumspection, um, self-denial, de self withdrawal, regression. On the reverse side, it says imprudence, hastiness, rashness, prematurity, foolish acts, incorrect advice, failure caused by result of dullness, overprudence resulting in unnecessary delay, and immaturity. Let me go to the Tattoo Tarot. Very, very similar. The Classical Marseille. The Tarot Master. Tarot of the Master, sorry. And the Soprafino deck. So the artwork is all very, very similar. And with that, we come to the end of the Hermit card. Um, again, as before, I would love to hear if you have any other meanings that you have come across uh, through different um, through your different studies or or readings. I would love to hear. Um, actually, I love learning uh, and hearing other people's perspectives. So I would greatly appreciate it. Anyway, until the next time. So we'll meet again. For the next card, which is card 10, which is the Wheel of Fortune. And please don't forget to hit like and subscribe and hit that notification bell below so you know when the next one comes out. Talk to you soon. Bye.